hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is amora love and today i am here with my little sister her name is jamora love and she's 11 years old and guys doesn't she kind of look like she could be my daughter like what <laughs> like what is happening why does she look like she could literally be my daughter but yes anyways we're going to be jazzing up her singles like i said in my last video my older sister did her hair and now today i'm going to be styling her hair so this is her hair before we add anything to it she just has some super medium size box braids and they are down her back and this is her first time with braids and she's really tender headed so this is going to be the perfect style for her to still look cute but without having to worry about too much going on with her scalp so these are the charms we're using they're filigree tubes by donna and i'm using the 10 millimeter ones I have these beautiful heart ones just because both our names means literally love love so i thought those would be a nice little touch and these are so easy to use literally anybody can do it even her and like i said she's 11 years old you literally just open it up and clamp it back on your braid and these are the normal ones that we're all used to seeing these come in an array of colors as well just like that it's easy to clamp on and clamp off even she could do it so now we're gonna get started and placing these all over her head and we're just gonna place some high some low mix it up you can really jazz these up any way you want you could even use all the different colors if you like mixed metals you can use lots of them or just a little bit it's totally up to you you can even put these in after you're done styling your hair to show them off exactly where you wanted to show them off and i'm showing here that some of her braids are a little bit too big if you put them towards the top so the clamp is going to be a little open so i just make sure that i put that towards the back when it comes to any open clamps that don't fit all the way around when it comes to the charms, it really doesn't, it's kind of self-explanatory because the charm is supposed to be on the outside. But if you're doing the regular round ones, you could just make sure that the opening goes towards the scalp just so that it's a little bit harder to see and you could do those ones in the back. So I'm just going to continue placing these all over her head and then I'll show you guys when we're done. So this was hella funny. I was trying to just tell her how to do it. I was trying to just show her how to like show off her hair to you guys. And this was like her way <laughs> of repeating after me what I did. Isn't she adorable? Like what? Like how is she me? What is happening? But yes, you guys, this is them all done. And even while I was putting these in her hair, she was like, oh my God, this is a lot. And I'm like, I know. So I just kind of wanted to go all out, but you don't have to wear this many or you could even wear more. So now I'm going to play around with a few different hairstyles just to show you guys how you can style your box braids super easy and fast every single day, however you like. So moving on to hairstyle number one, I'm asking her to flip her head all the way over so that we can get all the braids positioned closer to the top and I'm just going to align everything in a high ponytail and you guys this was so hard to do because for one y'all see how wide that ponytail is like it's super thick braids they're medium sized box braids so putting them in a ponytail is already hard enough let alone medium sized ones so luckily I had this super huge headband and I'm just making sure that all the braids are in a line with the ponytail and then I made her flip her head back over and then this actually wasn't going to be one of the styles, but I decided to make it a style last minute just because I'm like, okay, you know, this is cute. But she started laughing because she was like, oh my God, like this looks like a butt. It was so funny. She was just cracking up. I'm like, what are you laughing about? And she was like, <laughs> it looks like a butt. A butt. <laughs> this part. <laughs> so yeah, that was a little funny moment. So this is hairstyle number one, all complete. And this is it from all sides, front, side, back, middle. And now we're gonna move on to hairstyle number two. So keeping everything exactly where it's at, I'm literally just gonna twist the hair underneath each other, going all the way around and making her turn her body as I twist the ponytail around into basically a little donut. And then 
I use these cute little springy hair ties that I'm recently super in love with. I love these so much. I've been using them like crazy for every little thing because it really just grips your hair and keeps it where you put it. And you could wrap it around multiple times or literally just once, but it will hold it regardless. Wherever you put it is exactly where it's going to stay. So I'm just making sure I'm placing all the braids in place exactly how I want the bun to lay. The beautiful thing about that little hair tie is that it's not gonna like budge. So wherever you place the braid and tuck it underneath, it's just gonna stay there, which I love. So this is hairstyle number two, all complete. Front, side, back, middle. <laughs> now moving on to the next hairstyle, hairstyle number wait one two moving on to hairstyle number three i'm going to kind of do another bun but i'm going to leave out two little tendrils in the front and then i'm going to do half up half down and once again using my amazing springy hair tie that i'm so in love with <laughs> i'm going to be so annoying with that guys you guys have to try those but anyways yes i'm just wrapping the hair around itself and I love how you can see the charms kind of peeking through and you could even save the charms for last if you just know you're going to wear your hair like this. You can place the charms in any design that you want to or you can hide the charms or put the charms just in the bun. It's totally up to you. But this is the front, the side, the back, the middle. Now we're moving on to hairstyle number four. And for this hairstyle, what I'm going to do is leave out some pieces in the front and then taking every single braid along the side of her hairline. I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm kind of just playing with it to see how I want it to lay. So I kind of want it to look like that. So what I decided to do was take all the hairline pieces and place them into kind of like a middle ponytail, like kind of behind her ears. And then I put that in a ponytail and I tucked it up and inside out and that was able to give me the twist effect i was looking for when i was originally holding it in that position and you can even play around with this and do multiple ponytails and twist them and stack them on top of each other um i think that would be super cute but i didn't think about that until i was editing so <laughs> yeah you can do it hella times if you want to and really just do the most So moving on to the last and final hairstyle, I would say best but not least, but <laughs> she specifically asked me if we could do this hairstyle last just because she liked it so much. So to her, this is the best hairstyle. I'm going to kind of do a twist on the half up, half down, except this time we're doing space buns with a side bang this time instead of the two pieces. And I'm using those little springy hair ties and just using two for each bun so i'm tying them up but i'm making sure i'm not like dragging the singles the box braids too tight within a ponytail and if you do you can always just pull on that specific box braid to make it not as tight because you don't want to pull people's braids you know people still need their edges so be very gentle <laughs> when it comes to like pulling these braids especially fresh braids into a ponytail just make sure you loosen any ones out like you see me doing later on in the clip. I decided to redo this bun just because it wasn't vibing with me right. So I wanted it to match the other one a little bit more. So I twisted it the exact same way, but I just wished it so that it at least looks similar. And this is the hairstyle all complete. She loves this hairstyle. She even slept in it, believe it or not. <laughs> But yes, this is all done and all complete, all five hairstyles, plus how to jazz up your singles. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.